Hi, I'm Patrick Donegan. I'm a senior analyst with Heavy Reading, and I'm here at Light Reading's first ever mobile broadband China event in the incredible city of Shanghai. Uh, and I'm with uh, Jorge Rodriguez. Uh, Jorge is uh, the senior marketing manager for uh, Huawei. And uh, Jorge, we're here to talk about uh, IP backbones. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's begin. What are the uh, guiding principles uh, in optimizing the total cost of ownership uh, of an IP backbone? Uh, the way we see the IP backbone network solution, and it's based on, on optimization of the resources we have in the network. So according to our view, we can categorize the optimization in three key aspects. The first one is related to the traffic optimization model. The second one is related to the way we see the management. Uh, in order to provide a unified approach, in order to reduce uh, the OPEX. And the third one is related to the way we uh, are going to implement it. So you talked this morning about synergized single backbone solution. It mm -hmm. sounds fantastic, but what is it? Well, that's a very good question. And this is our approach to the IP network, uh, uh, IP backbone networks, and it's the solution we are proposing to the market, actually, and having discussions with customers. And it's well, if we consider an IP backbone network as a multi-layer or multi-switching network, we are going to try to, we actually, we are going to optimize the resources in the network based on the three elements I've mentioned before. Traffic optimization or synergy, protection uh, synergy or optimization. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, players in the IP backbone space, Jorge, but uh, what differentiates Huawei from others? That's the, the third interesting question. And uh, uh, as I mentioned during my presentation today, um, we are in a good shape in terms of markets here for both optical and IP and PLS domains, which give us a solid and a good experience and knowledge in order to provide uh, the right solutions and a powerful portfolio in order to address customers' requirements. This is an important element, to have a good knowledge both layers in the IP backbone network in order to understand the challenges, the trends, and the requirements. And in terms of the uh, the 100 gig space, there's a lot of noise uh, in that market. Uh, how does Huawei see that uh, opportunity evolving and in what time frame? Okay, that's the fourth interesting question, by the way. And I would say that, as we know, there's a lot of pressure for operators in terms of bandwidth due, due to this uh, traffic increase. So 100G is there, and it's a requirement of course. And um, this said, uh, as you know, we have already issued some press releases regarding uh, uh, 100G. Of course, we are able to provide an end-to-end -end 100G portfolio across our products in the IP backbone solution, that means for routers and for our OTN, PWDM equipment. And in terms of uh, timing, what it's important to understand is, not, is that it's not only uh, uh, technology related. Mm -hmm. There are some other factors which need to be considered, such as price, in order to provide a cost-effective solution which is attractive to customers, and uh, the maturity of supply chain network, which also is a key element here, which needs to be considered. And just as importantly, uh, the World Cup there are three Spanish-speaking teams left in. Mm -hmm. uh, is any of them capable of winning it, and if so, which one? That's the fourth or the fifth interesting question, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> and obviously, and I come from Spain, so I would say that Spain should be in the final. Okay. And this is what I really expect. Until now, what I can say is that uh, the team is playing quite well, so I'm pretty much confident about that. Okay. Well, you heard it here first from us here in Shanghai. Have a good day.